Shalom, Shalom, giving all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekach, Badash. Double honor to the apostles. Now this is a great millstone for teaching this truth that's gone all around the earth. Shalom to the hopefully elect out there. This is your brother, Atazawan Bayath. And um, I'm going to bring a, a short lesson and Lord willing it'll be edifying and comforting, all right, to the brothers and sisters who are in the truth, okay? This is a very precious gospel that we have, all right? Through the grace of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, you know, we've learned the truth through men, right? And in particular, the men, a great millstone. Start with the apostles and the elders. And uh, this lesson is really, it's not gonna be anything heavy or deep, but just giving an appreciation uh, for the Lord, you know, for bestowing this First, the apostles and elders and brothers and teachers, man, of this truth, okay? Because just as though we, we, we have it, we could also be like those who don't have it. So it is a, indeed a privilege and an honor, all right, to receive this truth and that we don't take it lightly, okay? Um, so anyway, just... Uh, Meditating on a few scriptures and, and thinking about our destiny. Lord will we make it to the end and I'll get that scripture. Um, but yeah, man, just thinking about our destiny, man. We we have a destiny with the Lord, right? And uh, eventually this society is going to be over. And I know, you know, it's, it's like we've been beating this drum for, for quite a while. All right, and, and there are those who've been beating it far longer than I've been in the truth, okay? Um, however, as we look at things today, we know that this, uh, this place can't go much longer, okay? And uh, hell, man, we ready to get out of here, all right? At least I am, and um, I know that there yeah, are a lot of brothers who feel the same way, okay, because we just tired of this place. Now, this is a beautiful little scene here, beautiful little lake, and, you know, we appreciate the beauty of, uh, of the earth, man. But the earth is in the hands of the wicked, and they made this life miserable, if you will, okay, to a certain degree, all the, the Lord would allow them to do, okay, wickedly, they've done it. Okay, and continue to do it. And so it bears in mind that, you know, it's not always going to be like this. Okay, that we, we have a glory that is coming, that is on its way. All right, we have a destiny with the Lord. And the scriptures are full of promises to the remnant, to the elect of the house of Israel, the house of David that we endure to the end, man, we're gonna see the glory of our Lord. Okay, so that's kind of where my my spirit was today, or is today, and what I've been thinking about. So, this won't be long, we just get a few scriptures, man, you know, and uh, give honor to the Lord, you know. I know we, we report on all of the things that we find in the news, and you know, news stories, and how the Lord's going forth with judgment, and, uh, Puerto Rico just got hit, right, with a hurricane or whatever that was that tore through there, a tempest of the Lord, let's call it that, okay? Uh, and I think it was like, what, four years ago that they, they were hit real bad? And I don't think that island recovered, you know, even from that. And here you have another one, right? Um, and because, you know, of course, <laughs> you know, dealing with false idols and false gods and wicked spirits and calling on the wrong name and, you know, all that goes on down there in the Caribbean, you know, it's a, it's a wonder, you know, that they, they have anything down there. And, and that's including all those islands, you know, Haiti and Dominican Republic, okay, Puerto Rico, you know. Um, 
it's a wonder that you know they don't get hit more often you know so anyway that being said let's get a few scriptures here and then i'll i'll, I'll close it out this is this was not meant to be you know some long exhaustive lesson but just like i said we have a destiny with the lord okay and um lord's will we make it so let me first start off with that scripture and i'll just be hitting these scriptures and getting right to the point okay this is uh Matthew 24 and 13 and simply it just reads but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved right and so being in this truth and understanding this truth understanding these scriptures who it was meant for okay who it applies to how to apply the scriptures using wisdom and knowledge okay through the spirit of Yahweh you know we will endure to the end the elect will and we just pray that we're part of that number, right? But we have to make it to the end, okay? And it also reads the same, well, pretty much the same way in Mark 13, 13. And it reads, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, right? For Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, okay? And we're hoping to make it because we want to see that glory of the Lord, all right? So let's jump right over to Luke 12. And um, and so how, you know, so we can get an understanding of how we get to this destiny, man. How do we reach the destiny? What is it that we're looking for? You know, how do we get there? Okay, so this is Luke 12 and 29. I just jump into 29. And it reads, And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. Right. We come into this with... We are no longer unstable in our minds, you know, okay, as the scripture reads, you know, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, paraphrasing it, okay? So we have one mind, one direction in which we're going, right, in this truth. Verse 29 again, And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of Salakia, doubtful mind, I read that wrong, doubtful mind. Not double mind, but double minded was what came to my head when it talks about be, being doubtful. So, so lucky for that. It, it says it says doubtful mind. Okay. Verse 30. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. Right. What you going to eat. What you going to wear. Where you going to live. How you going to pay your rent. Your mortgage. It make your car payment, so on and so forth. The Lord knows that we need all of these things, okay? And don't doubt the Lord that he will deliver, okay? Some way, somehow, the Lord will get to your hand what you need, all right? Verse 31, but rather seek ye what? The kingdom of the Most High. So that's first and foremost. That's how we're going to reach this destiny. We seek the kingdom of the Lord first, above all things. All right, above eating, above drinking, above what clothes you're going to have or, or buy or before you decide a career, or all these different types of things, what job you're going to have and such. Right, we're supposed to be seeking the kingdom of the Most High. All right, and it goes on to say, and all these things, which are the things, the things pertaining unto life, okay? And all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, okay? So, if we are part of the flock of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, then it's his pleasure to give his flock the kingdom, okay? And if we endure to the end, we're part of that flock, and then what? We're going to get the kingdom, man. All right? Verse 33, sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourself bag which wax not old. A treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approaches, nor moth corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right? We keep our minds kingdom-minded, right? We keep our minds on the kingdom, and that's our treasure, okay? That's what we should be doing, okay? And that's going to, we if we endure, we'll make it to the kingdom, all right? 
let's go over to uh, mm, let me see here. slide here let's go to James 1 and uh, let's just jump in and verse 12 we read verse 12 James 1 and 12 blessed is the man that endureth temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him right so we make it through this life being faithful unto the Lord okay enduring the hardships enduring the temptations of this life you know um And when we're tried in this life and we don't buckle, we don't fail, right? Then the Lord has a crown of life laid up for us. Okay, there's also another scripture in Revelation. Let me get that. So that we can reach our destiny, man. Our destiny is to be in the kingdom with the Lord, to be his part of his elect, man, that we make it, okay? This is Revelation 2 and verse 10, right? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, right? Those temptations that are going to come in these coming days, okay? The, the, the sea hip, okay? All of these things, all these other little antics that they're pulling okay these are just mere temptations right but that big temptation of the sea hip man you know that's that's the ultimate that's the hour of temptation okay and we're not to be in fear of anything that they claim that they could do to us all right fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil which is esau or edom shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried and you shall have tribulation ten days be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life verse 11 he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death right the Lord is going to rescue us before these nukes blow this place off the map all right we don't know how or when i mean in terms of we know that the chariots will come and you know but we don't know exactly how that process is going to go you know we just seeking our deliverance okay that's what we have to be concerned with all right so that we can reach our destiny Right? We have to be concerned with these things. Okay, let's go over to, um, and this will be real short. Like I said, let's just read uh, Baruch chapter 5. And we brought this out at camp this uh, past a couple of days ago, this Sunday. All right, and I'll read all of it. It's, it's pretty short. So, But this is, this is actually one of my favorite chapters in the Apocrypha. All right, so this is Baruch 5, verse 1. It says, Put off, O Jerusalem, the garment of mourning and affliction, and put on the comeliness of the glory that cometh from the Most High forever. Right. We, I mean, that's, that's what we're hoping for. Verse 2, Cast about thee a double garment of the righteousness which cometh from the Most High, and set, it in den set a diadem on thine head, of the glory of the everlasting for the most high will show thy brightness unto every country under heaven right man we're gonna that's gonna be a sight that's gonna be a sight verse 4 for thy name shall be called of the most high forever the peace of righteousness and the glory of the most high's worship arise O Jerusalem and stand on high and look about toward the east and behold thy children gathereth from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of the Most High. For they departed from thee on foot and were led away of their enemies 
but the Most High bringeth them unto thee exalted with glory as children of the kingdom. You see, we have a destiny. Okay, we have a, and we have a destination. Okay, and we got to march forward. All right, we got to keep pushing forward to get to this destiny. Right, verse seven. For the Most High have appointed that every high hill and banks and long continuous shall be cast down and valleys filled up to make even the ground that Israel may go safely in the glory of the Most High. Moreover, even the woods and every sweet smelling tree shall overshadow Israel by the command of the Most High. Man, the Lord's doing a marvelous work. He's prepared everything for us. Final verse, verse nine, for the Most High shall lead Israel with joy in the light of his glory with the mercy and righteousness that cometh from him. Man, I, that's, that's one of my favorite chapters. You see? We have a destiny. Okay. Let's look uh let's look at uh Isaiah 51 and Salakia. Let me see where I'm coming in at. Uh Yeah, I'll just jump in there. This is Isaiah 51. I'll jump in in verse 8. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord Yahweh. Awake as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Art thou not it that hath cut Rahab? and wounded the dragon? Art thou not it which hath dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that hath made the deeps, so like the depths of the sea, a way for the ransom to pass over? Therefore the redeemed of the Lord Yahweh shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. Right? They shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away i even i am he that comforteth you who art thou that thou should be afraid of a man that shall die and of the son of man which shall be made as grass and forgetteth the lord the hour thy maker that has stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and has feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor as if he were ready to destroy and where is the fury of the oppressor the captive exile hasteneth that he may be loose and that he should not die in the pit nor that his bread shall fail see so zion the memorial of the lord okay the redeemed the remnant the elect okay the lord has prepared something special for us only if we just remember the Lord see we have to come back to the Lord you have to repent okay so let's get uh, let's get a couple more and we'll shut it down this is uh, Revelation 7 and 17 and it reads for the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water, and the Most High shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes. Right. Many of us have spent a many a night, okay, low in the spirit, some crying, okay, for all of the things that we had to suffer, right, just speaking on this life. Okay, but there's a crown laid up for us if we endure and we make it because we have a destination. Okay, and we can't let anything or anybody sidetrack us. Okay, and through the Spirit of the Lord for His elect, that's not going to happen anyway. Okay, so we get the last scripture here, which is Revelation 21. I'll jump in right there, verse 1. 
and it reads and i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea and i john saw the holy city new jerusalem coming down from the most high out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her for her husband right and the elect is the bride okay and her husband is yahweh shai yahweh by shem yahweh shai verse 3 and i heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of the most high is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and the most high himself shall be with them and be their power and the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away and he that sat upon the throne said behold i will make all things new and he said unto me write for these words are true and faithful and he said unto me it is done i am alpha and omega the beginning and the end i will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely he that overcometh shall inherit all things and i will be his power and he shall be my son you see so we have a destiny we have something laid up waiting for us all right so that's pretty much what i wanted to go into you know real well in the you know the point has been made you know on my thought today and that was we do have a destiny we're not doing this for no reason okay you know the spirit has moved on us and has opened our eyes and we see everything that's going on in the earth and we can't wait for our destiny you know we, ju we just you know the scripture says and be anxious for nothing okay but we see we're vexed with the wickedness of this world but with that being said you know we have a glorious destiny and a crown of life that's waiting for us so long as we endure and we pray that the spirit of Yahabashim Yahusha be on each and every one of us that we may endure to the end to get to our final destination so with that I hope this lesson was you know edifying and, 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 and spiritually uplifting okay it's gonna be all right all right it's gonna be all right no matter what the world is going through all right it, it's not going to affect us lord's will okay so with that i'm gonna give all praise honor and glory unto yahweh by shem yahweh shai by shem rakakwadash double honor to the apostles and elders great millstone for teaching this truth is gone all around the earth shalom to the hopeful elect I'll see you all again real soon with another lesson, Lord willing. Shalom.